if you want to determine velocity and acceleration of different elements of a single slider crank chain you need to draw separate velocity and acceleration diagrams apart from configuration diagram clean's construction for determining velocity and acceleration of a slider crank mechanism does not require separate velocity and acceleration diagrams in the configuration diagram itself we can draw both velocity and acceleration diagrams now this is a typical configuration diagram of a single slider crank chain if this oa is rotating in clockwise direction then this is what you will get as velocity diagram here oa is velocity of a with respect to o ab is velocity of b with respect to a and ob is velocity of this slider now in cleans construction we extend this connecting rod further extend this connecting rod and from o draw one line which is perpendicular to the path of motion of b so from ob perpendicular to ob i have drawn one line and these two lines intersects at point m this triangle oam and this triangle oab are similar triangles and therefore these ratios will be same that is this oa oa divided by this capital oa is equal to ab divided by this am and ob divided by this om now this ratio oa small oa divided by capital oa this value we know this value is equal to omega and therefore these two values will also be equal to omega from this without drawing this velocity diagram from this diagram itself we can determine velocities of different elements and these velocities are velocity of a with respect to o is equal to omega into oa that means you have to measure this length and multiply with omega you will get velocity of a now measure this length om measure this length om and multiply it with omega you will get velocity of b that is velocity of this slider to get velocity of this connecting rod that is velocity of b with respect to a just measure this length and multiply it with omega now remember that this this lengths i have drawn in configuration diagram with scale 1 is to 5 if you have taken any scale then you have to multiply with scale here this is the acceleration diagram for this particular case now how to draw this velocity diagram and this acceleration diagram this i have explained in a separate video its link i will share in the description box now to get this diagram here what you have to do is take a as center a means the crank pin you have to take this crank pin as center am as radius and draw one circle so i have drawn one circle with a as center and am as radius now take center after this take center point of this connecting rod this is ab and this b i have marked here which is center point of ab so from this point take this point d as center and da as radius so this da as radius draw an arc i have drawn this arc which is cutting this circle in two places here and here mark these two points as k and l so after mar marking these two points k and l join this line k to l and this line intersects this connecting rod at this point q i have marked this point as q so this is this q point is the intersection of this connecting rod with this kl and n is the intersection point of this path of this slider that is this horizontal line with this kl so this point is your n so this point is n now join this o to n then n to q q to a and n to a now this triangle a n o and this triangle a b o these two are similar triangles so this triangle or this diagram is representing acceleration of different elements in cleans construction this oa is proportional to acceleration of a with respect to o and our proportionality constant here in this case is omega square uh, centripetal component of ba this aq is the centripetal component or radial component of acceleration of b with respect to a acba so omega square into aq this small length tangential component of uh, b acceleration of b with respect to a so this is equal to omega square into qn this is the so resultant of acceleration of b with respect to a will be aba which is equal to a omega square into an this an and acceleration of b with respect to c that is absolute acceleration of this slider is equal to omega square into on in this way you can determine acceleration of different elements of slider crank mechanism here i explain here i told that this oa is rotating in clockwise direction 
So if it is rotating in clockwise direction, then this is the velocity and this is the acceleration diagram. If this OA is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, this diagram will change. These two diagram will change. But in Cleans construction, this diagram will remain same. That is, OAM will remain same irrespective of the direction of rotation of OA. If it is rotating in clockwise direction or it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, in both cases, you will get velocity diagram in Cleans construction as OAM. Similarly, for acceleration diagram, irrespective of the direction of rotation of OA, that is either clockwise or anti-clockwise, in both the cases, you will get the same O N A. O and Q A. The same diagram you will get for the, uh, any direction of this O A. Now, other thing here, I have assumed that this O A is having only one component of acceleration, that is, uh, radi uh, on, that is uh, radial component, that is centripetal component. So, other component, if this O A is accelerating, that is, if angular acceleration of O A is given in any direction, in that case, uh, diagram will slightly differ. That I will explain with a separate example. Now we will take one example in simple case. The crank of a slider crank mechanism rotates clockwise at a constant speed of 300 RPM. The crank is 150 mm and the connecting rod is 600 mm long. So we have to determine linear velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod and angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod at a crank angle of 45 degree from inner dead center position. So first we have to draw a configuration diagram. Now you can see these lengths are given 600 mm and 150 mm. So you have to take some scale. I have taken scale of uh, 1 is to 5. That means all dimensions I will take uh, 1 fifth of the actual dimension. So 1 fifth means this will be 30 mm and uh, this will be uh, 12 mm. So what you have to do is first take one point from that mark that point as O, draw one horizontal line from OS center and 45 degree, you now this angle is 45 degree, so here mark 45 degree, this is point is 45 degree here, so this is 45 degree, uh, then join O to this point, and this length is 150 mm, that means 30 mm, so 0, 1, 2, 3, so this point mark here, so this point, so this length is uh, 150 mm, which I have drawn here as 30 mm, now mark this point, name this point, a. Now from A as center and 600 mm means 12 centimeter or 120 mm long line you have to take or radius you have to take 120 mm and A as center and draw one arc which intersects which intersects this line at this point. So from this point to this point A that is this distance will be 600 mm or uh, 120 mm actually in this configuration diagram. Mark this point, join this line and around this point draw one rectangle to show the uh, slider. So this point is B that is uh, on slider and C is the fixed point. RPM of this crank is given 300. So from this RPM, you can calculate angular velocity OA, angular velocity, angular velocity of OA 2 pi n divided by 60, which you are getting as 31.42 radian per second. Now you can draw velocity diagram for this particular case, which is very simple. Extend BA, extend BA, and draw one line which is perpendicular to OB, which two, these two lines intersect at point M. So this OAM is your uh, velocity diagram. So what you need is, uh, you have to determine linear velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod. So I have marked midpoint here. So this is midpoint of the connecting rod. Now this midpoint means uh, this uh, AM is representing velocity of B with respect to A. So if you want this point D, so you have to mark midpoint of AM. So here you mark one point uh, which is at center of this AM. So this length you can see this is 10, 20, uh, this is about uh, 22, so 11, at 11 mm. So at 11 mm I have marked one point, I have named this point as X. X. This X is representing actually D here. So remove this scale. Now join O with X, that will be the velocity of midpoint of the connecting rod. So this so this x is representing, this ox is representing absolute velocity of this d. So for that, vd is equal to omega into ox. Now omega we have already calculated, omega and this ox is, measure this, uh, 10, 20, this is 25.5. 
so you can mark this 25.5 now omega we have already calculated as 31.42 this length ox is 25.5 now we have taken configuration diagram with scale 1 is to 5 therefore we have to multiply the, uh, here 20, 25.5 with 5 so that actual length will be uh, so that we will get actual length so after that you will get this velocity as 4006 mm per second so all dimensions are mm so you can convert this into meter per second by dividing it with 1000 so you are getting 4.006 meter per second so first we have determined linear velocity of the connecting rod if velocity of uh, slider is required then you have to measure this om and same way you can calculate 31.42 into om into 5 in that way you will get velocity of slider but it is not asked here therefore i have not calculated it in this case now another thing angular velocity and ang angular velocity is also required angular velocity of the connecting rod so angular velocity of ab means first you have to determine velocity of b with respect to a that is vab so vba so this vba is equal to v uh, omega into am this length so measure this length so this length is uh, 22 which we have already calculated and now value of omega is known so just write 31.42 into 22 now i have multiplied this with 5 because i have taken scale as 1 is to 5 so after that you are getting velocity of b with respect to a as 3456.2 mm per second you can convert this, this into meter per second so this is 3.46 meter per second once you get this velocity of b with respect to a now angular velocity can be determined by uh, formula v b a divided by b a that is you can use omega ab is equal to vba divided by ab that is this length total length so 3.46 divided by uh, 600 mm means 0 0.6 meter in meter i have converted so ratio of these two is equal to 5.76 radian per second so angular velocity of ab will be 5.6 radian per second now other two, two things are uh, acceleration of the midpoint and acceleration of the connecting rod for that we need acceleration diagram so I have removed just to ex explain this OX I have removed uh, so that I, uh, I, can, uh, I can make it clear uh, but that this OX will remain in your diagram. For that ex for acceleration diagram draw one circle with A as center and AM as radius. I have drawn this and uh, now with D as center and DA as radius draw one arc which intersects at these two points k and l join k with l these two intersects uh, this kl intersects this connecting rod at this point q and this point n uh, so this kl is intersecting this path of this slider at n now join these lines these points o to n n to q q to a and a to n these are all uh, these are all accelerations now uh, you need acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod now you here you can see in this acceleration diagram aq is the centripetal component of the acceleration of b with respect to a qn is the acceleration tangential component of the acceleration of b with respect to a and an is the resultant acceleration of the b with respect to a now we need acceleration of d so this actually an is representing acceleration of b with respect to a so d point is at center so you need to take center point of an so that you can get by drawing one horizontal line from d draw one horizontal line so this point is the midpoint of an so this point is representing uh, d here in acceleration diagram so i have named this point as y so this y is representing this point d in acceleration diagram so join o with y that will be your absolute acceleration of point d so for that AD, so AD is equal to omega square into OY. Now remember that you have, we have to multiply in acceleration diagram with omega square. Now OY, measure this length OY. If you measure this, uh, this is 10, 20, uh, 21, 2, 3, 4, 24.5, around 24.5, 24 you are getting. So this omega is 31.42 square, length is 24 mm. Now again I have multiplied this here with configuration diagram scale, that is 5. So after that you are getting acceleration of d as 118.5 meter per second square so now this value is mm per second square 
so i have converted that by dividing it with 1000 so i have divided this entire value with 1000 after that you are getting this 118.5 meter per second square so acceleration of d uh, also we have determined midpoint now another thing we require is angular acceleration of the connecting rod for angular acceleration of connecting rod you need tangential component of the acceleration so first this is completed now tangential component is this qn qn is the tangential component of the acceleration of b with respect to a so measure this length so tangential component is equal to omega square into qn measure this length qn now if you measure this so this is 10 uh, 20 21 almost 21 you are getting so take this 31.42 square into 21 now multiplied with scale 5 so tangential component will be equal to 103.67 meter per second square i again i have divided this entire value with 1000 to get in meter per second square in this unit so once you get at uh, tangential component of ba alpha ba can be obtained using this relation alpha ba is equal to tangential component of acceleration divided by ba so this is 103.67 divided by 0 0.6 which is this length from that you are getting 172.8 radian per second square so this is what we need uh, we are required to calculate so all, everything i think both all four four items we have determined so these are the values now these four values are what we have obtained in my uh, in my previous video when you have we have drawn relative velocity and relative acceleration diagrams and this is what we have obtained from using cleans construction now you can see using cleans construction it is very simple compared to drawing relative velocity relative acceleration diagrams now i have taken one another example this example i have taken only to show that uh, in this case one angular acceleration of 1200 radian per second square is also given so how to incorporate this for that i have uh, taken this another example in this case uh, when angular acceleration is also given you uh, there is no there will be no change in velocity diagram on only change will be in acceleration diagram so in this case uh, cb 100 mm so crank length is given 100 mm connecting rod length is given 300 mm uh, center of gravity g 100 mm from the b so this point g is given at 100 mm distance in this position the crankshaft has a speed of so uh, angular velocity of crankshaft is given and angular acceleration is given we have to determine velocity of g and angular velocity of ab acceleration of g and angular acceleration of ab okay for that first uh, we have to draw configuration diagram uh, we will start with configuration diagram here i have taken scale of 1 is to 4 so all dimensions will be uh, uh, one fourth of actual dimension so this is one fourth means 25 mm crank length i will take so this angle is 120 degree so this is 120 120 degree marked uh, scale is so 25 mm i will take 25 mm here so this is 25 mm c to b and join this line from b as center and 300 mm so 300 mm means 300 divided by 4 75 mm uh, so from b as uh, radius and 75 uh, b as center and 75 mm as radius draw one arc which intersects at, at this point as a so mark this point a which is representing slider so uh, now join a with b so your configuration diagram is now complete next is velocity diagram so for that uh, you don't need to extend ab here so see directly you can draw one line which is perpendicular to ac now this ac is intersecting uh, at point a1 so i marked this i named this point as a1 so this is what uh, this is the um, this is the required velocity diagram that is this c a1 b is the velocity diagram in this particular case now what we need is uh, we need to determine this point g velocity of this point g now this g is on a b and towards near to b so near to b somewhere here you will get g so this is b a1 and in this b a1 you will get point g1 here so for that uh, you use this ratio b g by b a so this b g divided by b a so this b g is given 100 mm from b so b g is 100 mm b a is 600 mm so no sorry b a is 300 mm so b g is 100 and b a is 600, uh, 300 
so bg1 bg1 g1 somewhere here you will get that you don't know at, at present position of g1 is not known and ba1 you measure it so measure this length so when you measure it here you will get mm, 10 11 12 13 somewhere 13 you are getting so you put this value so 100 bg is 100 ba is 300 is equal to bg1 divided by 13 so one third of 13 you have to take so 13 divided by 3 you cross multiply it you will get bg1 as 4.3 so mark bg1 so this small this distance is 4.3 distance so here i have marked this point g1 so once you get this g1 and c with g1 that is the absolute velocity of g now measure this length cg1 cg1 is equal to almost 23 point something so 23.5 I have taken omega is given 75 23.5 now scale is 4 so I have multiplied this with 4 and divided by 1000 to convert this into meter per second so this is what you are getting as velocity of the center of gravity so this is your first answer now second uh, you need angular velocity of AB for angular velocity of AB you need to determine uh, velocity of A with respect to B or velocity of B with respect to A, VAB divided by AB. In this way you will calculate omega AB. Now VAB will be omega into A1B. This A1B into omega. Now omega is 75. A1B measure it. So after measuring you are getting this 10, uh, 10, 14. Somewhere 14 you are getting. So 13, okay, 13, 75 into 13 into 4 divided by AB is 300. So all these values are in mm. So this is also I have taken in mm. In this way, you are getting 13 radian per second. So first part uh, you have calculated. Now for drawing acceleration diagram, now in this diagram, you have to slightly modify from the previous one. Here alpha CB is given. That means acceleration of B with respect to C. This acceleration, both comp two components are there. One is radial component and another one is tangential component. So alpha CB is given. That means you will get tangential component of CB as CB into alpha CB. Now CB is given 100 and alpha CB is 1200. So this mm per second square, this value you are getting. Now this length we have to show in this diagram. For that length in diagram will be alpha cb divided by omega square so in diagram we have to divide with omega square so tangential component is divided by omega square when you divide this you are getting 5.3 mm now you have to draw one line which is equal to uh, whose length will be equal to 5.3 mm now this length should be perpendicular to cb now in previous case i told that uh, direction is uh, there is no uh, effect of direction in velocity and acceleration diagram but in this particular case uh, the direction of angular acceleration we have uh, we have to take into account this direction of angular acceleration so now direction of angular acceleration is clockwise therefore we have to draw in this direction 5.3 mm we have to draw one line which is 5.3 mm long and perpendicular to cb from c so from c 4.3 mm length i am drawing here so this length is 4.3 mm and mark this point c2 now i have drawn c2 here in this direction because uh, angular acceleration is clockwise if once you get this c2 now this c2 is your reference point or center point so in place of this horizontal line which we have drawn here we will draw one horizontal line from c2 in previous case itself i have told that you have to take center as this crank pin so this crank pin is here B. So B as center, B A1 as radius, draw one circle. So this circle you have drawn. And uh, after that, you have to take midpoint of AB. Uh, somewhere here, you will get midpoint of AB. And uh, that radius, half of this length, half of this AB as length, draw one arc. So from midpoint, here midpoint, I have drawn one arc, which intersects the circle at two points K and L. So these are K and L. Now join K and L. Now this KL and L, this line joining K and L intersects AB at this point. Name this point as Q. And this line is intersecting this horizontal line from C2. Now remember that you have to take this line which is passing through C2. So this horizontal line at A2. So now draw this acceleration diagram. So C2B, A2B and C2A2. Now this is the required acceleration diagram. Now here CC2 is the tangential component of acceleration of CB and CB is the radial component of the acceleration of CB. 
So resultant of these two, that is resultant of BC and CC2 is this BC2. So this B to C2 is the mm, uh, resultant acceleration of BC. Now similarly, here in this case, you can see that this BQ is centripetal acceleration of this AB and QA2 is the tangential component of AB. So resultant of these two, that is resultant of BQ and QA2 is BA2. So BA2 is the acceleration of AB, that is acceleration of connecting rod. But what we need is uh, angular uh, an acceleration of G and angular acceleration of AB. So acceleration of G means now we have drawn acceleration of AB, which is BA2. In this BA2 only you will get this point G, that is G2. And G2 is near to B, the BG is one third of AB. So this one third of BA2 you have to take. So take this scale. The, now this total length is, um, this is 10, 20, this is 25. So one third of 25 you have to take and mark this point G2. So I have marked this point here, 7.5. Almost eight I have drawn here, one third. And uh, mark this point as G2. Now join G this G2 with C2. That will be the resultant acceleration of this center of gravity. So join this point, C2 to G2. Take this length, measure this length. So when you measure this, uh, 10, almost 19, 19 you are getting. So this length is omega square into C2 G2. C2 into G2 is 19. Omega square is 75 square and 4 is the scale. So in this way you are getting acceleration of G as 427.5 meter per second square. Again I have divided this term with 1000 so that you have obtained this value in meter per second square. For angular acceleration, uh, to determine angular acceleration of AB you need tangential component of AB. So tangential component is QA2. This is the tangential component QA2. So this is what you have to determine AT BA tangential component omega square into QA2 measure this length. Now this length is 25 mm so 75 square into 25 into 4. So this is what you are getting 562.5 meter per second square. Once you get this AT you can get angular acceleration by using this relation AT BA divided by BA. So 562.5 divided by 0 0.3 because both are in meters. Uh, meter per second square and this is in meter. So you are getting 1875 radian per second square as alpha. When you use Klein's construction, uh, margin of error will be very less because even a small mistake or small error will cause a large difference in the final answer. So therefore you have to draw perfectly, try to draw as perfect as possible. But as compared to relative velocity and acceleration diagram, this, this is quite simple. But problem is, this method can be applied only for single slider crank chain. Thank you for watching this video.